power factor. Energy is needed and utilized everywhere in the world. If we look at the convenience, efficiency, and economy, it is best that we generate, transmit, and distribute energy as electrical energy before it is converted into the required forms by suitable equipments. For the same reasons of efficiency, we use alternating current rather than direct current. In electrical engineering, energy efficiency is expressed in terms of power factor. Power factor, Pf, is the ratio of working power, or useful power, measured in kilowatts, to apparent power, measured in kilovolt amperes. It is usually expressed as a percentage and the lower the percentage, the less efficient power usage is. Here, we can see 96% power factor demonstrates more efficiency than a 75% power factor. Note. Power factor below 95% is considered inefficient in many regions. Let us understand power factor by using analogy of a glass of any carbonated soft drink or soda. Assume we pay for soda by the glass. But in the glass, there is both soda and foam. The more soda we have, the less foam there is. So, we get good value for money. If there is a lot of foam, then, there's not a lot of soda, and we're not getting good value for money. The soda represents our true power in kilowatts. This is the useful stuff we want and need. This is what does the work. The foam represents our reactive power in kilovolt, ampere reactive. This is the useless stuff. There will always be some, and we have to pay for it, but we can't use it. So, we don't want too much of it. The glass represents the apparent power, in kilovolt ampere, which is what we are charged for. Power factor, is therefore the ratio of true power, in kilowatt divided by what we are charged for, that is, apparent power, in kilovolt ampere. So, it's telling us how much value for money we are getting for the power we consume. We can express this as a power triangle, where, the solder that is the true power is the adjacent line. And, we have the foam, which is the reactive power at right angle. Then, for the hypotenuse side, which is the longest side, we have the apparent power. This is at an angle from the true power, the angle is known as phi. So, by trigonometry, so, what is, reactive power, active power, apparent power? Let's understand these terms, with the help of an example, of a motor. Active power. The power which is actually consumed, or utilized in an AC circuit, is called true power, or real power. It is measured in kilowatt. It is the actual outcomes of the electrical system, which runs the electric circuits, or load. Apparent power. The product of root mean square value of voltage, and current, is known as, apparent power. This power is measured in kilovolt ampere. Reactive power. The power which flows back and forth, that means, it moves in both the directions, in the circuit, or reacts upon itself, is called reactive power. The reactive power is measured in kilovolt ampere reactive. Technically, in AC circuit, the voltage and current are ideally in phase. But, practically, there exists a phase difference between them. The cosine of this phase difference is termed as power factor. So, power factor can be defined as the cosine of angle between the voltage phasor and current phasor in an AC circuit. For an AC circuit, power factor is between 0 and 1, whereas for DC circuit, power factor is always 1. Power factor can be classified into three types. 
lagging power factor, leading power factor, and unity power factor. Lagging power factor. When current lags behind the voltage, the power factor of the circuit is called as lagging power factor. When the circuit is inductive, the power factor is lagging. The loads such as induction motors, coils, lamps, etc. are inductive and have lagging power factor. Leading power factor. When current leads the voltage or voltage lags behind the current, the power factor of the circuit is called leading power factor. When the circuit is capacitive, the power factor is leading. Capacitive loads such as synchronous condensers, capacitor banks are examples. Unity power factor. Power factor is unity, that is one, for ideal circuits. When current and voltage are in phase, power factor equals one. Power factor cannot be more than unity. Practically, it should be as close to unity as possible. Power factor offers so much advantages. Some of them are Low voltage drop An increase in available power Eliminate the penalty of low power factor from the electric supply company Saving in the power bill Better usage of power system, lines and generators etc. Saving in energy as well as rating and the cost of the electrical devices and equipment is reduced. To know more, sign up to www.linksy.in.